graph 0 0.04 on the number line. So here we have this number line that goes from 0 to 0 0.1 or 1 tenth and between 0 and 1 tenth we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 equal spaces. So each of these spaces represents one tenth of the distance. It's one out of ten equal spaces. Or we could say it is one tenth of this tenth. It's a tenth of the way to one tenth. That's a little bit tricky. Maybe let's pause and look at that visually and think about what does a tenth of a tenth really mean. So here I have already drawn a picture that's divided into ten equal pieces. And if we shade one of them, then we're shading one-tenth. This right here is one-tenth. And this amount right here is what the number line showed. The whole number line showed one-tenth. But then we had divided that tenth into ten equal pieces. So if we split that ten into ten equal pieces, we're going to have something like this. So here again, this top row would represent the entire tenth from the whole number line, but each little piece would be one of those one-tenth of that whole tenth. Or, so this is what each little piece on the number line represents, or we could say that's one one-hundredth. A tenth of a tenth is a one-hundredth, because when you divide ten into ten equal pieces, you're going to end up with a hundred pieces. So a tenth of a tenth is a one-hundredth. So looking back at the number line, now we know that this distance, a tenth of our tenth, is a one hundredth. And we want to graph 0 0.04. Well this 4 right here, this 4, let's think about place value, the zeros in the ones, the next zero in the tenth, and this 4 is in the hundredth. So we could call this 4 hundredths, or even the fraction 4 hundredths. So if one of these lengths is one hundredth and we want to go four hundredths, then we're going to need to go four of these lengths. One, two, three, four of these lengths would be four of the hundredths or zero point zero four.